I gotta say, it's amazing how filthy a GoPro lens can get just sitting there. Hey guys, how the frig's it going today? Well, it's yet another day here on the old Skivens channel. And today, well, we're done our biking. Biking's done. We're good there. So I'm thinking we need to do some more stuff in the garage. It's currently 12.15. I only have a 15 minute break, but I figured we can do some stuff. Got my battery pack all juiced up. This is basically for when I decide to go camping. It has the cigarette lighter so I can uh, inflate my uh, air mattress as well as USB to charge up cameras and phones. She's pretty good. She's got uh, 14, well, 700 crank amps or whatever. I don't know. I don't know how many amp hours this thing is. Never really looked into it. Never really cared to be honest. But uh, I was advised of something I should do with the old chair and table here. Which is why I didn't want to have him out here because this isn't the way to do it. I'm probably going to do that after. Uh, move it to the side of the road, somebody might just take it. And if that's the case, then sweet. Um, Oreo, no. Stay over here. So, probably going to do that after. But I did get a message last night from someone saying that they want to come by and take a look at the Macintosh. Which means I need to get it out of the cabinet. Which means I need to do that right now. And I'm just going to sit it here for now. Should clean it off. Make it look physically a little bit more appealing. I don't know. I'm asking 50 for it. Whatever I get, I get. I'm optimistic to want to, to get 50 for it. I know it's a nostalgic piece. Like it's not something a lot of people have. Or for that matter, something a lot of people are after. I really need to do something about these cabinets. That top one there, I should get my tiger saw and just zip it. But let's grab some paper towel. We'll get some all-purpose cleaner. We'll just clean it off a bit so it doesn't look like complete chaz. There we go. Good as used. So I cleaned off the, the panels and all that. Make it look a little bit more appealing. Should be good. Eh, should be good. Probably won't be. I don't know. Whatever he offers me, I'll take it just to get rid of it. One less thing in the garage. One better thing gone. Um, all right, let's get this dog back in the house. Maybe I can start moving this furniture back there. Now, I talked about the fire pit idea a couple times while out biking. And there's a bit of a problem with this idea of mine. See, the problem is, is in the city of North Bay, there's a bylaw about uh, fire, about open air burning and having a fire pit and all that. And one of the... Um, one of the bylaws states that, you know, you can burn within six minutes, but you have to burn in a designated burning apparatus that you purchase basically from like Canadian Tire or Walmart or Rona or, or uh, one of the other department stores. It's probably go a lot easier if I didn't want to vlog while doing this, but whatever, it is what it is. So, the idea of taking the drum out of the washing machine and putting it in my yard to use as a burn bucket is not a thing I can do due to restrictions. Hmm, how can I do this? Oh, this is awesome. This is how you carry two chairs at once. You hook one under your arm and hope to Christ it doesn't come apart like it's trying to come apart. This is fun. But yeah, so you got to use like designated burning apparatuses. You can't makeshift your own, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. So the idea of extracting that pot from the uh, washing machine, well, we'll scrap that idea. Because like I said, there's no reason to. We'll just set it in a scrap metal, call it a day. And do the same with, uh, with the dryer. And if I want to do a burn pot, well, I'll uh, have to do it.
do myself a solid and keep an eye out for someone selling one of those old fire pots. What time is it? I gotta get back in there soon. So, get this out of the yard. Get enough good stuff. Ow, right in the knee, because that's where I need to hit myself. Freak sakes. My knee is still shot. <laughs> my right knee is just horrible right now. And what's awesome is I just banged it over the friggin' table. So, that added more pleasure to the pain. Or whatever. Alright, let's see if that gets moved. See if they take it in the garbage. Who knows? I don't know, Dad said move it to the side of the road. Somebody will take it. We'll see how accurate he is on that. Hey, no mail. That means no bills. Anyway, I'm gonna head back inside. Like I said, I only had a 15 minute break there. So I figured I'd come out here and do that. I do have plans for tonight on stuff I wanna do. One of those plans requires us to go to Home Depot because we do need to pick up supplies. And the supplies I need are black steel pipes. So, all right, I'm gonna throw some chicken in the air fryer and let that cook up. All right, guys, it's lunchtime. I haven't eaten lunch yet. I'm gonna have it after. Uh, we got 45 minutes to dick around in here. So I figure, let's dick around in here. So I'm gonna move this table saw back. I needed it out of the way to get into there. And then uh, I wanna move this crap out of the way so I can get down there and start pulling some crap out. Cause we got a lot of crap that needs to get out of here. You can hear something over here making a ruckus. Like a mouse or something. I don't know where it is. Are you in here, buddy? What the hell's that? Oh, it's a power inverter. Huh. Are you in here, buddy? No. Oh, there's something moving around in here. You can hear the bugs buzzing around, but uh, you know it's Christmas when you find another garbage bag. Sweet. These are the garbage bags that I use to cover up the tires on the uh, the Trans Am when we painted it last year around this time. Actually, nope, around this time we... I can't remember when we were done with it because we did take it out for a rip. Anyway, not a big deal. Well, now that that Mac is out of there, I might be able to load that crap back in there, clean off that shelf, and I wonder if my tent would stuff into there. That'd be kind of sweet. Because that chair is going to the dump. So, yeah, Dad said to put that stuff at the side of the road. Somebody will take it. I don't know. We'll see. Nobody takes it. Nobody takes it. Got a guitar stand here. Should put that on uh, Kijiji. Somebody might want this. I already have enough of these for my two guitars. Is it bent? I don't know. Oh no, it's upside down. <laughs> yeah, 10 bucks guitar stand. Put that on Kijiji. Somebody might want it. That's not too bad. Put your guitar in there. This is upside down, mind you. It's supposed to be, I think, like that. I don't know. And then this here has a little lock on it so you can stove it in here and lock it in place. So that if you're moving it, you don't have to worry about the stand leaving your guitar behind. Anyway, I'm going to get that office chair up here because that's got to get out of here. And then I got this wood that Dad brought over to build a ramp. We ended up just building a... He ended up building one at his house and not needing that. Then we got some more scrap metal there. Some cardboard. Got a computer, which is going to go to the hazardous waste depot. Got some speakers over there. Might take the magnets off of him, use them for magnet fishing. And then all this crap over here that I want to go through. Some more plywood, some more plywood. Yeah, just a bunch of junk. Let's go through it. So I got all the tires cleared out from back there. I thought there was more than that, but I only found four. Um, I could have sworn I had some extra go-kart tires, but I guess not. So this side here, basically all we have is, oh, there's another one. There's another one. 
Yeah, that can go up there. Take it easy. Um, I still got to hook up this hose to my compressor. I got these two weed spreaders, or grass spreaders, I think. I think Dad said he wanted one for his yard. I don't know. I want to get rid of one of them. This is the one that spreads. This one here just kind of drops. Um, this one here is like more for fertilizer. This one here is more for grass seed for concentrated. I might hang on to them. I don't know. Whatever. They're out of the way. Over here, however, I think Dad said he was going to take the concrete and use it at my brother's place, but they moved, so he doesn't need it anymore. This is just cardboard. This can go into recycling. There's an old lawnmower blade down there. I should see if that fits the new mower and if it's in better shape. Uh, that can go into scrap metal. This can go to the dump. I don't need a friggin' wooden stool. It's been sitting out here forever. These, I'm gonna, I don't know what the hell to do with them. Those, like I said, Dad wanted to use them for a ramp here and ended up not doing that. So this can go to scrap metal. Don't need this in here. So let's just take this out. I'll just lean it up against the snowblower for now. So yeah, I took a lot of shit out of here to make some room. I need to clear off this wall over here basically because I'm going to take this down and I'm going to build a holder over here to get these weed whackers floating. As well as a holder over here or over here, whatever, one of the two for the shovels. So I can get the shovels off the ground and not into the garbage can. So I can open this whole floor area up because this winter I have this mower coming down here. Bender, depending on whether it survives the uh, the mission over yonder, which highly doubtful. And then my bike, I'm not sure if it's coming down here, but I want to be able to, if it is coming down here, be able to access this door to take it out. I'm going to ride it in the winter. Because, um, yeah, once the Trans Am's in here, it's pretty tight. So I brought the office chairs up. They're going to be going in the garbage. Uh, what else? Yeah, this is scrap metal. This initially, Rex gave me this to use to make an exhaust system for the mini bike. Holy shit, just break everything there, bud. That's, that's all right. So this here can go into scrap metal. It's a futon frame. This is what he used to make the exhaust on his mini bike make it sound a little bit beefier but I was gonna do the same never got around to it sold the mini bikes don't need this anymore so we'll take this out and put it in scrap metal in the scrap metal pile over here so and no those chairs are not part of the scrap metal pile actually I want to make sure that's not confused so I'm thinking this Saturday I'm gonna call and see if the scrap yards open and if I'm already all organized, I'm going to load up the truck. We're going to load up this guy, this guy, all the crap, all that wiring. I don't, I don't know if they'll take it in the insulated cave or insulated sleeve, but can't see why not. I want to take the tires off all these rims. The rims are going to go to scrap metal too. So that's something else I got to do. I might as well bring out this freaking heater thing not like I'm ever gonna use this register again I don't think anybody would ever use this register it's uh, pretty garb so onward to scrap metal corner you go there you go we'll load that up as well as the go-kart frame over there. Somebody did mention, hey Adam, why don't you sell the go-kart frame for a DIY project? Guys, this thing's been out here in the snow and rain since, holy frig, forever. Like, I could put it up, I guess, 10, 15 bucks. If I make money, I make money. If I don't, I don't. You know what, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, I'm gonna post it. Are these pussy willows? What are those? Hmm. Whatever it is, dried right out. I was thinking for next year, I got an idea. I was looking up some 
some ideas. I wanted to get a garden going, but I don't want to go too big. So I was thinking here, if I knock all this down, I could build like a, a garden box and grow like, like tomatoes and, and stuff. Just grow my own veg just as a project, a fun little project to do. Could be, could be interesting. Could be kind of fun. Something, something different that I've never done before. That dad's been doing for many years and I just never got on the bandwagon. And I got all this property. You know, a lot, a lot of people would say, why don't you build a garden over where the raspberry bushes are? You know, reclaim that property and make it into a vegetable garden. I don't want something that big that I got to maintain. <laughs> all right, so um, more stuff outside for scrap metal. Like I said, I'm not sure what the hell I'm going to do with these wooden ramp things. I could take them apart. That is good wood, but I don't know what the hell I'd use the wood for. Throwing away good wood. You never know when you're going to be like, oh man, I need a 2x4 that's exactly whatever the hell size that is. Probably 18 inches. Oh, and I got this here canopy tent back here. This thing, I have never set it up, but it's one of those four posts with a canopy overhead. Could be good for camping. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. It's probably not tall enough to use for a ramp on the side but I got no reason to have a ramp on the side there so all right I'm gonna grab more of this shit and take it out alrighty guys well I took a bunch of crap out of here I moved some stuff over to here because like I said I mainly need to be able to get up high so I can build my shovel holy crap that was a spider um, came across a lot of those in here that's for sure daddy long legs I just leave them alone because they eat other bugs and they don't really bother humans um, as you can see I uh, Got quite the holes in the side of the shed here, eh? Obviously, this was an attachment added on to the garage way after the uh, garage was built. It'd be nice to build another lean-to off of it so <coughs> I could park my Trans Am in it and keep the garage open for winter shop work. But, whatever. Anyway, i um, just been moving stuff over to clear off this wall. I... I'm thinking like I grabbed all those spiked I don't, I don't understand what dad brought those over for I think it was to do with something with the ramp with this thing here I, I can't remember now it was a couple years ago but um, this concrete I'm gonna move it I'm not sure what the hell I'm gonna do with it but I'm gonna move it we use that there to build this floor because remember it used to be dirt in here so then we ended up pouring a brand new floor um, this part I don't think was dirt but that part was which is why we got a seam in here, which allows plant life to grow through. There's the airsoft rifles. I'm probably gonna have to do something with these, get them working again. I think all they need is a new battery. Like honestly, put a new battery in them, good to go. They had nickel cadmium batteries and they're pretty much not holding a charge. I remember when I used to shoot Mr. Airsoft Ponage, it would take me two hours because I would have to charge the batteries a lot between the shots because they would just run out after going through around 30, 40 BBs. But I'm sure you get some, a set of lipos that throw 7.4 volts, you'll be in it to win it. Uh, as for this tent thing, I need to move that. And then I just need to get my step ladder, which is right there, and then build my, my makeshift idea. So that's gonna be the battle plan for today. Currently it is 147 I got to get back to work in 13 minutes so yeah I guess I could start de-rimming these tires and then getting them ready for the garbage for the dump and then uh, putting the rims with my uh, with the rest of my crap so that's the battle plan I'm gonna go with that and then uh, I'm off work at 5 o'clock, so at 5 o'clock we'll come back out here and play some more, organize some more. Wait for Buddy to come over and take a look at the Macintosh, decide if he's taking it or not, and then go from there. Hopefully he takes it. I'd be willing to do a deal. He says 30 bucks sold. I just, I'm gonna, I was going to throw it in the garbage. Like, honestly, I was going to throw it in the garbage because, like, it's an old G3 233 megahertz processor. It's vintage as frig. I have no use for it. I was going to scrap it. I know a lot of you out there are cringing right now saying, No, don't! That's a piece of history and stuff. But, like, seriously, it's a potato. <laughs> it's it's old. It's useless. It's cute. It'd be good for a DIY project, but I have no time for that nonsense. I do IT shit all day. I don't want to be doing it in my spare time. Trust me, if you ever get a job in IT, 
when you're not working, you don't really want to do this anymore. You just kind of want to chill. Do nothing but something else other than that. Camping tent fits in the shelf. Okay, guys, I know I said I was going to do some stuff, and then uh, I got to get back to work. And I got a couple minutes left, so um, I'm going to go ahead and seal up this garage. And like I said, we'll come back out here at around 5. Doesn't look too promising in the sky. Good thing we're done our kilometers, because I'd really hate to have to go biking today in this. Not sure what the weekend's going to be like. So I guess we'll have to wait and see there. Yeah. All in all, I say uh, we did some good damage today. And it's not even prime time. That was just in one hour, so we'll have to hammer down later on. All right, we'll chime back in at five. Peace. Well, hey, talk about a change in the weather out here. Wow. She sure cooled down a lot and super cloudy. That glowing orb up there, that is the sun. Hey, no mail. I dig no mail. Okay, I'm just waiting for the dog to crap and then we'll get back into the garage and get to work. I don't know if that kid's coming by to take a look at that computer today or not. Uh, he seemed a little upset that it wasn't coming with an operating system. Like, I don't have anything for it. I just got the computer. No keyboard, no mouse. Told him that, and he's like, oh, okay, well, I'll see. Like, no, no, you're coming by for it or you're not. Like, don't leave me hanging. I got things to do. If you're wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm uh, attacking this. Because it's kind of annoying. So I want to go to Home Depot tonight and pick up the stuff I need to build my shovel uh, organizer. And I don't like waiting on people. But come on, Ariel. That's what happens. He almost ran face first right into the freaking door. You almost did it again, buddy. You almost did it again. You gotta get down. You gotta get down. Yeah. Well, I told him anytime after five, he can just send me a text message and he can come by and check it out. So, balls in his court. I might give him till about quarter after five. I'll throw him a text and say, hey, uh, did you still want to come and check it out? If not, then I'm going to roll out to uh, Home Depot and go pick up the stuff that I need to make my shovel organizer. Oh, what was that? First time in a long time I had my ringtone turned on, so I have no idea... No idea what the heck half these sounds are. Uh, no, that was an uh, email. First time in a long time, by the way, guys, means first time forever. I never have my ringtone turned on. The most I'll do is vibrate. Because honestly, it's like... I'll get to it when I get to it. That's basically how I roll. Okay, so we got most of the crap cleared out of this corner. That computer needs to go with the rest of the oil. See, I guess in the USA, you guys can bring your used oil back to Walmart or wherever you bought your oil from, and they dispose of it for you. But up here, I don't think we can do that. I might be wrong. Maybe you can. But the hazardous waste depot is just around the corner from my house. Well, not really. It's a little further away. But it's not too bad of a drive to go to. So I figure I will bring, just bring it in and get rid of it, dispose of it there. I'm just not sure what I want to tackle now. So, a lot of people said this Delta saw would not do me good. Uh, being a scroll saw, it's meant for light duty, not heavy duty. So I should consider selling it. Well, we'll, we'll see what we end up doing with that. Um, like I see, if I can get rid of that thing today, that'd be awesome. And I still got to list this thing. There was something else that I saw in here that I was like, oh, you know what? I should probably sell that instead of get a couple bucks for it. You think I can remember what the heck it was? I have no idea. I don't know, man. Sometimes my brain it does things that's weird and stuff. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just talking. Goodbye. I also found a free lawnmower, <laughs> another one on uh, the marketplace. It's a, a craftsman, kind of basically 
like this one here just more newer it's a uh, 2006 model this is a 1996 model with a six and a half horse this has a six and a quarter horse but it's also self-propelled but he says it won't start honestly the mower has compression like if you can pull on the handle and it does a thump 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 then the only other issue is the air filters block so it's not getting air it's not getting spark or it's not getting fuel simple right so you check to see if there's actually gas making it into the into the carburetor if there is you check the spark plug pull it out lean it up against the grounded part on the engine pull the ripcord see if you get spark if you don't clean it replace it whatever the case may be and check the air filter make sure there isn't a dead squirrel in there or something once that's all said and done she should fire worst case take the air breather clean off and just run it open air running it for a while and like for a couple seconds on open air won't suck in any particles that wreck the engine you just don't want to do it prolonged especially if you're mowing the lawn because you'll just suck grass clippings into your motor and well that'll be all she wrote but a lot of the times these people they, they buy these mowers for like two three hundred bucks at Canadian Tire or Walmart or whatever and then they use them and then things happen and they can't figure it out and then they get quoted from like Hamlin's or something like a fifty dollar repair fee and they're like ah you know what I've had it for ten years I'm just gonna throw it in the garbage and go buy another two hundred dollar mower it served its purpose if I can get a self-propelled which is a couple years newer well after fixing Bender if she can't get the job done could be a sacrificial I don't know kind of attached to this mower though because uh, we got quite the past I use that a bunch of times when I live with my parents to mow their lawn and I've used it a bunch of times to mow this lawn here and it outlived the uh, riding mowers so yeah 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 frig yeah <sighs> these friggin plants like I know you guys didn't sign up that's like the smallest corn on the cob that ever got eaten on my property. Uh, well, I'm not waiting on that guy anymore. I'm going to take that as a I got the GG. Buddy's probably all butthurt that it doesn't come with software, which you can just completely download from Apple. <laughs> like, the Apple operating system. You can download all the images right from Apple. There's nothing that you have to to buy. Because it's an Apple product, I'm just changing my shoes from my shit shoes to my good shoes. Because we're going to go to Home Repo and we're going to buy the stuff. But Apple products, the operating system is free. There is zero charge for the operating system. You can download it, burn the image to a CD or a DVD, whatever your choice of poison is. In that thing's case, a CD, and you're basically good to go. But Buddy's all butt hurt that it doesn't come with the original media because he wants to display it. The case may be. Well, I wish he would have been nice enough to say he wasn't interested anymore. Instead of wasting my time, but. I guess that's too much to ask from people, right? Anyway, we're going to Home Depot. I'm gonna go get the stuff to build what I need. And then uh, we'll come back and get her done. And if Buddy texts me while I'm out, sorry bud, I'm out, I waited. And uh, I'll let you know when I'm home. Goodbye. Alrighty guys, down here at Home Depot. Gonna run in and get the stuff, leave you guys in the truck, and I'll talk to you when I get back out. Okay, okay, peace. Holy, it's like Alfred Hitchhawks, the birds. Jesus, Murphy, what's going on? Anyway, guys, we got the stuff, we got the pipes, we got the attachments. A little bit more costly than I remember, but it's gonna do the job. I'm just not sure what side of the building I'm gonna put it on, um, but this is strictly to hold the shovels up, nothing else. As far as the weed whackers go, I'm probably gonna have to build something custom for them, which is where the wood's gonna come in. That's right, I'm gonna put some wood to work. I'm going to think something up and then get it done. But uh, as far as the shovels go, I'll be able to get them up in the air and off the, off the ground and get that garbage can out of there. And uh, basically, I want to get rid of that garbage can anyway. I don't need it. All I've been using is the black garbage can all year. 
and I have my other blue garbage can as well as a side as a backup in case I do a lot of trash in one week. Anyway, let's go home and start building. All right, guys, we are home. Huh. Well, I'll never question Dad again. The table and chair gone. I don't even... Okay. Anyway, we got our stuff to put together what I want to do for the um, project. Arrange the shit. I don't know what to call it. Basically, we're doing a garage reorganization. Let me just get my garage door open here. So, uh, cleaned off my filing cabinet, and I guess I had some paint thinner on there because it kind of took her right down to the primer and then right down to the bare metal. Yeah. Anyway, let's shed some light on the situation here. So, uh, ignore this. That's my light and my bug zapper. Um, oh yeah, speed racer. So we got the pipes and then two fastened said pipes to wall. These go on the end so the shovels can't slide off. And then two fastened said pipes to wall. I bought two of these. So what the plan is, I think I might do it on this wall, as in, boop, boop, boop. I'm gonna do it right there, boom, boom, and that'll let me have pipes coming out, and then I can hang them off there. As for over here, I'm thinking I might make this the weed whacker holder, and I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. I'm thinking I might recycle some of this wood. That'll be another video though. I'm gonna have to think that one up. I got an idea in my brain, but my brain sometimes plays tricks on me because it's smarter than me. So we'll see how that plays out. But anyway, I'm going to check and see what the hell that noise on my phone was about, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, guys, this is basically the idea. Hopefully I'm not blocking the camera's view. I probably am. Basically what I'm going to do is put like one here and then one here so that I need to grab my widest shovel. Basically what I want to do is have like the shovels hanging right here all in a row coming out. So I bought freaking those pipes I bought are massive. Where are they? Yeah, they're behind me here. So these pipes are two feet. And they're gonna come out to oh yeah, we're gonna have plenty of storage. Plenty of storage. Don't worry about storage for days, boys. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I bought some screws. Because how else am I going to attach those plates? I don't know where I put them. There they are. So I need... Okay, I need a square head. Now i got to find my drill. Well, why don't I just break everything? Grab my drill bits. Probably should pre-drill, but I don't do things right on this channel. I like to do things wrong. I aggravate the people watching. It's fun. So, got my DeWalt bits for my DeWalt drill. Used to use a Craftsman. Or Mastercraft, yeah, Mastercraft drill, but Mastercraft drill has the crappiest battery technology ever known to man. Like this DeWalt, I haven't charged it for a year, and it still has power. I'm probably gonna have enough power to do this project, then I'm gonna have to charge it. I remember Dad used to be a super. Super Mastercraft fanboy. He was all about the Mastercraft. Mastercraft everything. And then he uh, got a DeWalt drill one year and said, you know what? Mastercraft sucks. Then he bought us all of DeWalt drills because he wanted to let them know. Perfect. Alright, three more of those and we're secure. 
Notice how I didn't even measure it to see if it was level or anything? Yeah, long hair don't care, boys. Long hair don't care. Welcome to Skivens Projects, where your eyeball is the only measuring tool you need. Drive a couple more of these bad boys in. We are golden. Rounded off that friggin' screw head. Remember when I said I never have my ringer turned on? That dinging you're hearing in the background? That is why. I don't wanna wait for a night to be over and over and Four screws. It's all I need to get the job done. I just put that hook up there to hang up the thing and now I gotta take it down and move it. All right, two back fur. Hold my shit. Booty, booty, burp, 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 burp. Sorry if you guys are staring at my arse. That ah, should be good enough. Ooh, that sounded like a fart. 10 out of 10 would say it's level according to my eyeballs, which don't really work that well, but that's fine. All right, one more screw and we're good to go. Beauty. All right, that's in there. All right, so move the step stool out of the way. Now we take our pipes, unscrew the protective caps, and what I bought so that they wouldn't accidentally slip off if something were to happen was these little, just so you guys know, this entire setup cost me 20 bucks. Well, a little over 20, like $23, which is a bit expensive when you look at all the wood that I was going to throw in the garbage. But what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to screw these onto the end, which will give them like a mushroom cap end and make it hard for the shovels to slip off. And this end here, I'm just going to line it up and screw it into the 2 by 4 You know what, I might want to ram a couple long screws through that 2 by 4 to make sure she doesn't friggin' budge. Chances are this is going to hold up, but the 2x4 is going to come off the wall. Oh, the fun, the excitement. Welcome to Skiven's life. Great ideas. Poorly implemented. But yeah, I might try and make something out of wood to get these uh, weed whackers up in the air. But you get the point. I wouldn't recommend doing chin-ups off of this. But to get some shovels off the ground, should be more than ample. Let's give it a try. I'd say it's working. Try something a little bit skinnier. Sure. I should have went in a little bit, but that's fine. Okay. All right, so this one here I'm gonna need right away. This one here. So, I'm going to start putting my shit up there. Over there I can retire the garbage can. Sweet. All right. There we go. All the shovels are off the ground. I still got like my axe and my chainsaw handle in here. Um, this stuff here I can relocate to the cabinet that I cleared out. Um, but he never got back to me about the Macintosh. So I guess he doesn't want it. But my phone was dinging a lot and I haven't checked it. So I'm going to check that right now. All right, well, she's got one hell of a lean to her, that's for sure. I'm going to see if it holds up. If it doesn't, then we'll have to come up with a better solution. But I do like the idea of those pipes holding all those shovels off the ground and keeping everything away from said garbage can. Which, once I organize this area, get this concrete sorted and everything else, um, that will probably be used when I build my deck. I can use that there to reinforce the, uh, the poles. Then again, they say not to use concrete because using concrete and sauna tubes can cause uh, the posts to basically, uh, like when concrete cools, it shrinks and when it gets hot, it expands and it crushes the wood, weakening your corner posts, which is why this, some people say just to sink it right in the dirt and other people say use cement. So I don't know, whatever. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for today. Uh, that's one of the jobs I wanted to get done was clean up down there. It looks like a friggin' mess in here, but like I said, we got a dump run coming. Tomorrow is garbage day, so I can get rid of these two contractor bags and fish guts. So that'd be all right. And then, 
the weekend is here, Friday, and then the weekend is here. So I think that's pretty cool. I didn't even notice when it came out at five if the table was still sitting there. I don't even know who took it because it's not garbage day, and whoever took it obviously didn't want their branches. So, and there's a lady down there, way down there, with a desk at the end of her driveway, and nobody took that. So I don't know, man. Somebody took it. Cool. If I can get away from going to the dump, then I'm going to get away from going to the dump. Because uh, the dump stinks for obvious reasons. Anyway, people, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and shut her down here. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click the like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And, uh, yeah, let's get some more projects going. Let's get this garage winter ready. One day, hopefully we sell the potato. But until then... Thanks for watching, and Skivens out. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.